Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Life of a Cougar and we are currently running from the killer male again and on our way to uh, to the next den which I think here is right there I think the den is this way yes we got to go this way and we have our moose here that we have taken out but uh we don't um don't need to eat any more maybe we'll grab a bite as we go by but we don't really need to eat much more of that Kira should be following us there we go she's following us now and we're gonna make our way this way and I think we're gonna just try and edge around whatever this predator is hopefully we can see oh good it's just a fox okay I'm not all that worried then we'll, we'll just uh, crouch in case it decides to come for Kira because then we'll be able to take it out in fact maybe we won't even crouch we'll just try and get by it as quickly as possible we're on the run from the uh, killer male again and um, we should be able to make it back pretty soon now some of you guys have been saying that it takes about 10 days for them to, for the cubs to grow up from the last stage. And then I went back and I looked and it actually has been about 10 days. And so I think we may actually get to see Kira grow up in this episode. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it does seem pretty possible. And I don't know why the game sounds are so quiet. Give me one second. Let me, let me see if something got uh, messed up with them. Yes, indeed. All right. There we go. Now the game sounds should be, should be a lot better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, apparently the volume got turned down. And um, I think, yeah, we should be good here. There's a lot of predators over there. So I'm going to go ahead and check them out and see if we can fight them once we get over there. Or once we get over here and I can leave Kira at the den because we can hopefully get some food from that. But I think for now... Um, we mostly want to make sure that Kira gets to the den safely, and then if there's hunters or whatever, I can go deal with them without having to worry about Kira getting into trouble while we're um while we're while we're on the way. So this will be a lot easier, I think, because then we won't have to worry about them going after her. Uh, that's my main concern with any sort of predator is that they'll come after Kira because we can handle pretty much anything that gets thrown at us. It seems. I'm not overly concerned about any of that, really. It's mostly just, um, okay, you know what? We need to deal with the predators over here first, I think, because some of them are awfully close to the den, so we'll, we'll run by, hopefully not crash into trees. Um, our, our stamina has actually been pretty good lately because we've been bumping it up, so that's a very good thing. Uh, let's just see what's over here. It is kind of hard to earn experience in this, and that's one of the things that I don't like about this game as much. Oh, there's an eagle. I see it. Um, but uh, one of the things you can see, actually see the shadow. One of the things that I don't like about this is how difficult it is to earn experience because you're supposed to earn like, okay, let's grab the eagle and then we'll run back. You're supposed to earn like 6,000 something to upgrade some of these. And that's like an awful lot. Okay, Kira, come here. Come here, Kira. Let's come over here. Is she coming back? She should be. All right, we'll leave this eagle for you because she's hungry. And uh, so we'll let her eat, we'll eat. And she should eat, there we go. We're gonna have her stay again and we should be fine. Let's make our way, that's, rival is, oh, the rival is hunting over there. Okay, so we'll make sure we address that issue first. But like, if we look at our stats here, if we go to character upgrade, we have 1600. But to upgrade our top speed again, we have to have like 6,400. So that's pretty crazy. Um, recover energy. Let's upgrade that because that'll make our, um, our energy regenerate faster. And if we do this, see, it'll go up very, very quickly. And I think we should be all right. Okay, there's a lot of prey animals that have spawned in now. That's pretty good, but we're going to make sure we go deal with this rival up here because, first of all, she's stealing our food. Uh, but second of all, we need to we need to get her out of here before, um, before she causes us problems. Oh, wait, what's over here? I don't know what's over here, but there is some sort of predator. Is it an eagle? I don't actually see... It's probably an eagle because I don't actually see it yet. Or it might just be pretty far ahead, actually. I don't see it here. The rival is going to come for us, though. So let's 
Let's run over and intercept her because there we go. Because she's going to go to our den otherwise, and that'd be bad if she starts attacking Kira while we're gone. There we go. You're, you're done. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. There's our moose carcass. There's... Is that... What is that? Oh, hey, hey, hey. No. Get out of here. Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's something going on. There's stuff going down here. There's wolves and hunters fighting. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's... We got to dodge. Okay. The wolves are a lot easier to take down. We got... We just got to keep moving, really. Um, this was probably a very bad idea. Okay. I don't know where the hunter actually is, but we got to keep fighting the dogs. All right. Um, oh, there. There, there, there. Okay. We're gonna- there's two of them. There's two of them. All right. We got to keep dodging is the thing, because if- if- we don't want any of them to land a shot, because the- the gunshots do a lot of damage. Okay. So we just got to stay- stay on the move. Once we get them on the run, it shouldn't be too bad. So that was literally- pretty much the worst possible combination you can get, which was, uh, <laughs> wolves and hunters fighting each other. That's, like, the two, the two worst enemies you can have to deal with in this game. Um, and I think, is this another wolf? It's, yeah, it's another wolf. Okay, we're gonna take you down, because you're gonna actually be probably dinner. Wait a sec. Was that another, another dog barking? There's another wolf over there. Um, we're gonna... Okay, are we headed the right way? I think we are. Alright, we're gonna maybe put this guy down. If this if this wolf comes for us, yeah, okay. We're gonna attack this guy too. Shouldn't be too hard to take him down. Alright. And we're gonna uh, continue on our way. So, that'll hopefully help things. I don't think we're gonna have too many issues. Oh, Kira's getting pretty hungry, so we're gonna try and make our way back. Leaping does help you get places faster, and I the stamina system in this game, it's good, but it's also a little iffy. I feel like the stamina drains really, really fast. I feel like we should at least have, like, a trot mode as well, as opposed to, um, because the stamina drains so quickly, I just don't think, I don't know, I just don't feel like it. I, I know cougars probably can't sprint very long, but I feel like we should have an in-between mode as well. That would be one thing that if I could suggest an update for this game, that would be one thing I would like to see. Because I feel like that would um, that would help a little bit. Because right now there's there's walking, which is really slow, walking or crouching, which is even slower, and then running, which drains your stamina at an incredibly fast rate. So, okay, let's... Let's deal with whatever's over here. There's a lot of predators, so it very easily could be uh, hunters, which is, or um, or it could also be wolves. So that's something we want to be kind of cautious of. I want to try and take out this fox. Wow, he's fast. All right, if we can get him to come back this way. I just don't want him going after Kira is my problem. So let's see here. I think we can get him... If we're cautious, there he goes. Alright, let's just keep creeping up on him, and I think we'll be alright. Oh, I can't actually see him now. Um, because of this tree. We just want to keep him right here. And we've got to be, a uh, kind of cautious. He's still on the move, though. The trouble is he's actually going faster than us, because he's moving away. And so we gotta get closer, because we're slower, because we're stalking. And so we gotta wait for him to to stop before we can actually go after him. But oh, there he goes. He's actually stuck. So that's perfect for us because we should be able to just sneak up right behind him and then pounce on him like that. There we go. Rival female. Did we get another one? Uh, we may have. All right, wait. Is that a carcass in there? I think we need to go back home, like, right away. I'm gonna grab this, uh, this fox, because I'm not sure if that's a carcass or if that's a rival, and that could be really bad. I think it's a carcass inside the den, but if we've got a rival female over there, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Okay, are we even going the right way? No, we're not. We gotta go back this way. All right. You can run indefinitely when you have the, um, the prey in your mouth, it seems. You just don't quite go as fast. Alright, I think we're fine. 
I think we're fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a carcass. I don't see any rival females in here. We are good, but it always pays to be, be careful. <laughs> Kira, why don't you come back and eat? Are you going to come back and eat? There we go. She's coming. She'll come back, get some food. The trouble with her now is that she doesn't stay close enough to the den to reliably eat. And so we have to be kind of cautious. <laughs> um, but let's see. So there's more, more predators over here that we want to deal with. Um, and I think, oh, that's a rabbit. We probably don't have to kill the rabbit, but we're going to, we're going to kill the rabbit and then we'll have a little bit of extra food over here if we need to, to have it. Um, do I see, okay, the predator is up there on the slope. Is that a hunter? That might be a hunter. I'm not positive. No, it's not a hunter. It might... What is it? Is it a hunter? It might be. Alright. We're gonna get closer. We're gonna... Oh, it's a hunting dog. Okay. Gotta take that guy down as fast as we can. So yeah, we definitely gotta get these guys out of here. But fortunately, we caught him on his own. There's another hunting dog. If we can catch these guys alone, then that'll be really good. All right, if we can continue to strafe around him. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's the hunter. All right, there's the hunter. So you got to be really cautious when you when you see him firing like that because that's uh, when you're in a lot of danger. So there's two more, and I suspect at least one of them is going to be a dog, but we might have a... Yep, there's a dog. We might have another hunter as well. So we got to be kind of careful. And is this one... That's another hunter. Yep. Oh, we did take a hit. Okay. That's no good. But see, you can you can see there's not a lot of things that actually damage us in this game, but that did quite a bit of damage. And we're not even on a very high difficulty. We're actually on the lowest difficulty because I tried this game even on the medium setting and it was just constantly dying. I, I'm not even kidding. It was it was insane. It was practically impossible to play. So I'm feeling a little more confident with it now that we've actually uh, been able to play some more. And um, that so that may enable us to be able to, to try a harder difficulty next time. But I don't know, you guys, because it was... Like, even the medium mode felt like hard mode. <laughs> it was it was pretty scary. So we're going to see if we can grab that hair we killed on the way and bring that back to Kira. And hopefully she will be growing up soon. I think it already has been 10 days, so it may be a little bit more than 10 days. But, um, oh, we left the carcass right here. All right, here it is. Um, right... Here we go. Alrighty. So let's come back this way. Here's Kira. Kira, why don't you follow us back to the den? So she ranges quite far now. But that oftentimes will put the carcasses out of her reach when uh, she has uh, when she has wandered far enough away. So let's make sure we're eating some of this. There we go. That should be good. I always ooh. Actually we ate the rabbit, so we need to find more food. Um, there's a rival female over here, too, that I'm probably going to try and go, well, maybe go deal with there. We should go mark the territory by this tree as well and see if, um, if we can keep that up at least. Oh, there's more predators as well. I don't know what kind. It could just be foxes. I hope it's foxes. Oh, that was a deer. All right. We don't have to worry so much about that. Um... Let's see, there's something over here. I don't know. Okay, the tree is right up here, supposedly. Alright, that's a deer. Are we able to catch it? Probably not. Um, but there's predators up here. And I don't know what sort they are. So we're going to cautiously make our way up here. Can we actually see it on the radar? Not yet. Oh, it's a bear. Okay. Well, with a bear, it's best to just charge in. You don't really have to stalk them. They'll come for you if you do that. Um, and I don't think we can carry a bear with us. No. So we can eat while we're here. But we'll have to find some other predator to, uh, to bring back. I'm going to be a little more cautious here. Because I think... Let's see. I don't know what this is, and so we want to be a little more cautious because it could be um, it could be a fox, and if it's a fox, that'd be a good 
Get something to bring back to the den. Oh, that's another bear. Okay. We're just going to take this guy out. And actually, maybe it wouldn't have been a bad idea to leave the bears there because then they'd stop anything else uh, really bad from spawning. Bears will leave you alone, pretty much, I think, unless you get too close to them. And then we'll go ahead and grab one of these carcasses and bring that back to the den for Kira. Uh, that shouldn't expire anytime soon. I think we'll be all right. And we'll make our way back. And I think the den is right over here. Yeah, we should be fine. There's also like a bison that, or some sort of a, some sort of large prey that's over by the den. So we should be okay with that too. Uh, we should be able to go kill that if we have to. But I think, I think we'll be all right. All right, Kira, come follow us. And we'll bring this carcass back here. And that'll be a nice bit of food for her. And we'll tell her to stay. She should go eat. We're going to see what's... Because um, there was something right up here, wasn't there? She's eaten. That's good. And there's... Oh, there's a predator. There's several predators that just spawned in. So that's not so good. We're going to see what's up here. There's a moose way in the distance. Uh-oh. I hear... That's a wolf. Okay. We're taking you down. All right, that's, I think the pack leader is this one here. So we're going to grab this guy. We're going to bring him back. And the last thing I want is for the others to, um, to come and attack Kira. So we got to get back to the den as quickly as possible here. So here we go. Let's bring this back. Kira went this way. Ooh, that's not so good because this is where we were seeing some of the, the the predators spawning in. Let's come back up this way. There's gotta be... They gotta become visible soon. <laughs> um, Alright, I don't know what this is. It's a horse. Okay. Is the horse gonna stand its ground? The horse is gonna attack. Okay. And the rest of the predators seem to be off this way. So we can probably go check those out and see what we found over here. We have a lot of carcasses laying around, but most of them are quite far off. So we want to be um we want to make sure we can constantly keep the den stocked. Also, some of them are kind of old, and carcasses do despawn after a while in this game, so it's important to keep a fresh prey coming in. All right, there's another horse. We can fight this guy. I think we can bring horses back. Oh yeah, and we need to scent mark the tree. I think it's going to be this tree. What? Oh, it's an eagle. Alright, we should be able to get the eagle. There we go. And we're going to uh, mark the tree here. Oop, we got to get... There we go. we got to mark territory. And that should keep this tree safe from the uh, rival females. So I'm going to then go ahead and grab this carcass here. Uh, the eagle and we'll start bringing that back and then I'm gonna see if we can carry the horse and if we can carry the horse we'll bring the horse back but if we can't then uh, oh yeah we can okay the, uh, so we'll bring this back instead because there's more uh, there's more meat on this guy than there is on the um on the to the eagle carcass so let's see where is our den it's actually right over this way so we're going to make our way back, and hopefully Kira will grow up pretty soon here. Um, oh yeah, there's another horse right here too if we need to. And um, I think... There we go. There's Kira. There we go. We got lots of prey back here. We should be alright. We're going to go ahead and eat. And we're not going to bring any of these elsewhere. Where did Kira even go? She's all the way up here. I'm going to try and keep her a little bit closer just so that she's within range of the food if she does need to eat. And then we're going to check around. I'll probably bring that other horse carcass back as well. And um, we'll make sure that no um, oh, no predators are spawning, I'm, I'm saying, as we come up on a predator here. <laughs> um, I don't know what predator it is. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious. It looks like it might be an eagle. So I think it probably is an eagle. Alright. 
because I can see it on this map, but not on this one. We're going to crouch and supposedly it's right over here. Yep. Nope. That's just a small one. Oh no, it's just up ahead here. Oh, it's a bear. Okay, we're going to take you down because you are kind of close to the den. All right. So we just got to kind of keep dodging around. One of the cool mechanics of this game that I'm starting to get the hang of is that you can actually dodge with the um, the side keys when you're locked on to a target. You can dodge with A and D. And um, we're going to investigate the predators first because we have a lot of food back at the den. There's no real necessity to stockpile it unless... Okay, that's a bison. Um, unless we know we're going to be... Uh, running out soon and the carcass over there was older than the ones we have at the den so let's check up here there's three so i'm not sure what it's gonna be and um uh oh oh yeah we got bad news up there that is a hunter you can see the silhouette all right we're gonna come running and oh no Oh no, this is not good. All right. Oh boy. Okay, this is when bad things happen. All right, we got to keep after him. He can't outrun us forever. We should be able to... Oh no, there's two. Oh, there's two. Okay. Oh boy. All right, so we got to be kind of careful. We got to keep dodging around and hopefully that'll give us a better chance of actually avoiding them. All right, we got to be careful. All right, I got to rest. Oh no, we, we don't want to stay down. We don't want to stay um, slow for too long though because they will catch us. All right. So, there's one more something this way, and we need to check that out, and where, okay, right here, it's a bear, okay, we're gonna bring this guy down too, just cause he's a, he's in the way, he's on, on the way home, we're gonna, we're gonna get him out of here. <laughs> I don't know how realistic it is for a cougar to actually take down a bear like that, um, it may not be the most realistic thing in the world. Because I feel like a cougar... Cougars are... Whoa! Hold up. No. You don't get to do that. No. Oh, hey. You're gonna come at me too? No, you're not gonna get to... Oh, that was a rival. Um, that's what the other cougar was. Okay. Um, you. You are gonna get out of here. You are gonna be done for. But yeah, if you look at cougars, they're so much smaller... And they're really light. They're built for, for chasing more than... Like, they're, they're fairly lightweight. They're not really heavy set predators. Whereas a bear is huge and massive and it's going to do a lot of damage. I don't think a cougar would really try and take one head on like that unless it had to. So, I'm not sure how realistic that is. But it is a game, so it's not always going to have perfect realism. Uh, let's make our way back to the den, and then I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So Kira still hasn't grown up. Hopefully she'll do that pretty soon here. It might be longer because this is the final stage, so we'll see. I can find literally no information about this. The only thing I've heard at all about um, about this stage of the game is from what you guys are telling me. So um, I don't think, I don't know that anybody's actually played through it to this extent on YouTube uh, so hopefully these videos at some point will help someone who may be, uh, may be seeking aid with uh, what, what they're supposed to be doing next. But anyway, I think we're going to go ahead. Where is Kira? Kira? Are you coming? There we go. She got really far off that time. All right. We're going to make our way back here. And I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.